Hi everybody, Melissa here. Co-sleeping. This is a very controversial issue. It's not something you can give any advice on. Everybody has their own views about what makes sense for them and for their family. I do believe in being honest and I have never co-slept. So in this show, I'm going to list for you guys the reasons why. It is true that I have never once, over all these years of having kids, co-slept. I have never had a baby in my bed during the night. Not even once, not a sick child, not a newborn, no baby, not even once. Why is this? I'm delighted to see my kids in the morning and I'm very, very affectionate and I feel like I could just eat them up with hugs and kisses, but I don't want them in my bed at night. And why is this? Okay, number one reason why I don't co-sleep. I need a break. By seven o'clock at night, I am done. Done. My patience is like here. I've been dealing with everybody, trying to give everybody their time, trying to get everybody to sleep, and I just need a break. I don't feel like I wanna deal with my kids anymore. Maybe that's really horrible, but I just don't feel like I have any energy. I feel like I need to take a break. Segwaying into reason number two, that is when I have some time with my husband. He comes home from work, we sit down when we can, we have dinner, we talk, I get things ready for the next day, check my email, get all that stuff done. I just need that time. I need it in order to administer what I have to do for my family, and I need that time with my husband. So that's my number two reason. Okay, number three reason why I don't co-sleep. I have too many kids. My bed is not big enough. I could never fit my husband and I plus the five kids. Number four reason, sibling rivalry. My kids get really jealous of each other. I don't know how on earth I would manage to explain to one kid that another one of the kids had been in my bed the night before. I would have to come up with like a co-sleeping schedule and say, okay, boy number one, you get Monday night. Boy number two, you get Tuesday night. Boy number three, you get Wednesday night. And this would never work because my kids have like really short-term memory and they're never gonna be able to handle the fact that that night is not their night. So it just would never work. A co-sleeping schedule would never work. Okay, how many reasons do I have so far? I think I have five, a couple more. My kids actually sleep 12 hours a night. They go to bed 7, 7.30, maybe 8, and they tend to sleep through 12 hours without waking up. I doubt they would be able to get the same amount of rest if they were staying in my bed. So I always worry about their rest, and I try to make sure they're getting enough as possible. Not all kids need this much rest. There's a really, really wide you know, variety of amounts of sleep that kids need, but mine do need that much rest. So that's one of the reasons why I don't co-sleep. Number six reason, <laughs> my husband is a light sleeper. He is the guy bringing home the bacon around here, so I need to let him get a good night's sleep so that he's fresh in the morning, can go to work, and get done when he needs to get done. Okay, last reason, I'm too selfish. Honestly, I feel that parenting takes so much energy, plus working, you're trying to make the right decisions, you're trying to talk to your children in the right way. After doing this for 12 hours, I just don't have that much left in me. I can't do it all night long. I just feel like there's not enough of me to give to my kids all day and then to give to my kids all night. And I believe that when I get that break and I have time on my own in my own space and the space with my husband, that when I wake up in the morning, I'm a better mom. This is totally not true for many moms. Many moms think they need that time, they work, they need the time, different situation. I just wanted to explain to you guys what my perspective is on the situation and what has worked for me. So those are the reasons why I have never co-slept. And regardless of what you choose to do, I do hope that you're getting enough rest and having a good time <laughs> parenting your kids.